and welcome back to live inside the digital media zone. We just heard from Under Secretary for Communications, Christina Gayak, but now we have her standing next to me live. Thank you so much for spending so much time with us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Your background is in communications. Your role in, in delivering the message about these SDGs all comes down to communication. How important is getting the message from here out into the public to you? Well, it is critical because if we are able to make the world aware of this fabulous agenda, we will also be able to make locally governments, officials, ministers, parliamentarians accountable. They have to take the decisions so that the agenda is implemented. They have to be the leaders of the implementation. So if we are aware of that, the media is aware, the public opinion is aware, definitely implementation will start. So walk us through these, these 17 SDGs. For the average person who will be looking at this list, they may be intimidated or they just may not know where to start. So what what's the first step when someone is new to this list of goals? What's the first thing someone should do to find even what they're passionate about? I think the first step is to be able to transmit that there is now a plan a plan that if uh, the different governments and leaders in the world start implementing, starting with priorities, in some areas there is going to be a lot of emphasis on energy, in other areas there is going to be a lot more emphasis on equality, but all together the plan, structured, organized and uh, going local will be able to transform the manner in which we live and we'll be able to preserve the planet. So this is very important for everybody to know that the plan is there and we have been given 15 years for this to happen. So we have to start very soon and keep on in a very steady manner. And I think it's important to note too because the list easily could have been some sort of document people downloaded, but it was very important to you that there was a story people could easily understand that was communicated well with these icons, that, these beautiful icons that really help people know if I want to support one of these goals, it's as easy as understanding these pictures. In fact, I would say we have the best plan and the best branding. A branding that very soon is going to be recognizable. It's beautiful, it's modern, has nice colors, and it's simple. So the sustainable development agenda is very complex, but the manner in which it's presented to the citizens is very simple. You know, in fact, simple things are very difficult, but it is the best way that we have to catch the eye and to catch all those that think that the world is complicated. So here we dissect the different 17 goals and we one by one put them in a manner that everybody understands. And long before I knew about tomorrow and these signatures, and long before I knew about the, the time frame of 2030, I knew that these icons. What else are you doing from a technical standpoint, whether it's through social media, whether it's through you know different forms of communication, what are you doing to help these goals go far beyond the United States and around the world? Well, to start, we are bringing them to every community. We translate them. Every goal has a title, so they now have been translated in all the languages. And in the communities, through the UN information centers, through the governments, through the, through the um, agencies of the United Nations and associations and civil society, they get spread around. UNICEF is helping to spread them in the schools. So it is very important that everybody, wherever it is, feels that there is an agenda and the agenda has an impact locally and it's going to be ro rolled out locally. So local communication for us is critical to get the universal goal of transforming the planet. Which is amazing. And if you had to pick one SDG that really means something meaningful and special to you, they're all special and meaningful and they're all important, of course. But what's, some, what's one that you're really getting you behind? Know, I think that equality is very important, SDG 5, and SDG 16, that encompasses the manner 
everything which we do, of course, partnerships is very important. But let's take them all together as they are and encourage work on water and sanitation, work on education, work on equality, work on how do we produce and how do we consume. Everybody makes the best agenda to transform the planet. Now, was there ever a time in this process that you thought to yourself, these are just not going to come together, the icons are never going to be made? Like, was there a time that you thought, we just may not get there? Yeah, well, last year it was complex, in particularly the negotiations between all the member states, among the member states, they had to agree. So it was a very challenging moment. The negotiators were drafting and drafting and redrafting. And then we put together probably the best artists. And they produce, uh, led by Project Everyone, fabulous uh, visual products that now we are able to share around the world. So now the hardest part though is ahead of us which is the political decisions, the budget decisions on every single measure that has to be adopted in the different governments. We need cities, we need regions, everybody has to be part of the implementation of the goals. And for the people out there who want to be a change maker, they consider themselves to be a social entrepreneur, an activist, a philanthropist, someone who wants to make a difference in this world. If they are in the stage that you are that you were in last year, when you just thought, I, this may never come to be, what do you want to say to those people? Because it takes a lot of work to see change take shape. As people take on these SDGs, it may take time for them to see the change take shape. Well, what do you want to say if they're about to give up? Are you talk to, I would tell them, have a strategic patience, but be extremely persistent in starting by you, by your individual position, doing things in a manner that is sustainable, consume differently, try to engage with others in a different way, and make sure that those that represent you politically do move along the lines of the sustainable development agenda. So be an actor of sustainability. That means demand the implementation of the agenda. And then communicate that message with everyone around you. Absolutely. Far, so it goes far Absolutely. and wide. This is the first thing we have to do, to be aware. To be aware. Thank you so much for spending more time with us. We really, really appreciate it. And now we are going to send it back to the next session.